Good morning, Shamrocks. My name is Jimmy Maloney. Today is Thursday the 25th. Let's remember that we're in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we rejoice that you, our Father, we rejoice that you rule and guide each of us so that our path in life leads to what is good and genuine. And we do not get stuck in this or that concern. Lead us, renew us, and again and again, free us to go forward, finding new courage and joy for ourselves and our fellow men. We rejoice in your name, amen. St. John Baptist Steel Sale, pray for us. Blessed Mother James Miller, pray for us. With Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Ryan Burt. And I'm Neil Vermeil, and here are today's announcements. We are excited to announce Paul Singarati Class of 2012 will be rejoining our Shamrock family as the assistant principal for the 2024-25 school year. After being away for a year, he'll be returning home to Belmont and Austin to continue making a difference in the lives of our Shamrocks. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is designated as a National Day of Service to honor and celebrate the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The Shamrocks Moms Club is actively engaging with community by helping those who are food insecure. Join us as we bring awareness to the food insecurity through a food drive. Please send in sealed, non-perishable, non-expired food items in good condition until Monday, January 29th. The most needed items are cereal, oatmeal, pasta, boxed mac and cheese, canned fruits and vegetables, canned fish and meat, canned beans, and soup. When bringing the items to school, you can drop them off in containers located in front of the school marked MLK Day 2024. The donated items will be given to St. Cyprian's Food Pantry. The Salian Youth is partnering with Uncle Pete's Ministries to provide lunches to underprivileged communities. We're looking for volunteers to help on Monday, January 29th after school. If interested, students should sign up with Mrs. Wood or Ms. Gallon. If you would like students, faculty, and staff to pray for you, your friend or family member in front of our Lord in the school's chapel, you may request a mass intention in honor or memory of a loved one by completing a Shamrock Prayer Request. The Shamrock Prayer Request forms are available in the library. St. Pat's is getting ready for one of Chicago's most iconic winter traditions. Join us on Saturday, March 3rd, where we will gather to support Chicago athletes with intellectual and developmental disabilities. All funds raised benefit the Special Olympic Chicago athletes, covering program costs such as transportation, sports equipment, team uniforms, and food. Through your participation, people with intellectual disabilities have the opportunity to discover strengths, abilities, and success. St. Patrick High School has been doing the pull to plunge for seven years, and it's been a great tradition. Participants who raise a minimum of $100 will also earn 10 service hours. To sign up, scan the QR code found on posters or talk to Miss Wood, Miss Guyona, Tommy Lawler, Brian Ebervine, or Cameron Mescal. Now let's find out what's happening in sports with Anthony Santucci. Sports update Thursday, January 25th, swimming versus Amundsen at 5 p.m. And then Friday, January 26th, basketball versus Loyola at 7 p.m. And Saturday, January 27th, basketball versus Evanston, 1 p.m. All right, I'm Dylan Richard, and I'm here with Neve Hawkins. All right, Neve, how did it feel getting that game-winning dunk in against Notre Dame? Uh, it felt great, you know, just getting it out the way and came up with the win. You know, we had to get something. I wasn't forcing it into overtime, so I had to get the win, pick it up. I'm glad we got the steal and got the dunk. It just felt normal, you know, it's nothing crazy, it's nothing new either. What was your reaction to uh, seeing yourself all over social media? That had to be pretty thrilling. Uh, I didn't really notice it till I was on Sports Center the next day, and that's when it was like, dang, this is, this is kind of crazy. All right, well, thank you for coming on, man. Thank you.
Good morning, Shamrocks. Here are some world news headlines that you might find interesting. First off, Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, has dropped out of the next presidential election and has instead endorsed Donald Trump as the next president. Next, the popular Chicago rat hole. This hole shaped like a rat in Roscoe Village has captured the hearts of many people making it quite the popular attraction. When people would gather around to take pictures there, one even getting married there. Residents, however, have complained about the street being too noisy and making the city contemplate filling in the hole. Finally, Stellantis, the parent company of the car brand's Jeep, which usually has its cabin Jeep exhibit at the auto show, Dodge Ram and Chrysler will, will be opting out of auto shows this year. A statement from Stellantis says to be as to be efficient as possible in our media spend, we are evaluating participation in auto shows on a case-by-case basis by prioritizing opportunities for consumers to experience our vehicles firsthand. That's all for you for the World News Update. Tates. All right, the question of the day is pancakes or waffles? It's got to be waffles. All right, thank you. Thank you. Here with Mark Dewasu. All right, the question of the day is pancakes or waffles? Waffles, no doubt. All right, thank you. That and I am here with Coach Galante. All right, and the question is pancakes or waffles? Definitely pancakes. Thank you. Can we get a bar? Um, bar. Coach Lucas. And the question of the day is pancakes or waffles? Pancakes all day more. Thank you. Right. And who am I here with? Mr. Crisman. All right. The question of the day is pancakes or waffles? Absolutely pancakes. Thank you. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a designated as is a designated. Are you? March 3rd, while we were. Yeah. Uh, 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 requests and mass intentions. If you'd like students, faculty, and staff to pray for you, your friend or family member in front of our Lord Jesus <laughs> Chapel. <laughs> 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 I like that. Don't sigh like that. <laughs>